Hiya. I was down in the lobby and called and gave me your mail. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you got a free sample, too. What? Oh, an empty bottle of aftershave. <laughs> Carlton's been drinking the mail again. Me, Gary. Hi, Rona. Do you, uh... <laughs> Do you have a skirt I could wear? <laughs> I'll get you one. <laughs> Brenda, that sister of yours is one great lady. I mean, a guy comes in, asks to borrow her skirt, and she doesn't even bat an eyelash, and that's what I call class. <laughs> Do you realize you didn't even bat an eyelash? Gary, this is New York City. I've seen it all. Why should I ask? Why do you want to wear a skirt? When I know Brenda will ask. Yeah, but, you see, uh, the thing is, uh, you know, I have straight hair, and I like to curl it a little bit. So every morning when I wash my hair, I blow dry it. And uh, then I hot comb it. It has to be very synchronized. What I do is I blow dry a spot, and then I hot comb the spot, put the blow dryer down, Gary! and hot comb it. Yeah. Why do you need a skirt? Yeah, I sat on my hot comb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the doctors. You know, I can't get my pants on. It hurts. It hurts a lot. <laughs> so, well, well, what do you think? You're beautiful. Uh, thanks. Well, you saved my life. Or started you on a new one. <laughs> Boy, you know something? If he shaved his legs, they'd be better than mine. <laughs> Even if he didn't shave his legs. <laughs> what is that? A letter. Yeah. From my lawyer. It's nothing important. No. Rhoda, you're... Your face changed when you opened it. No, no, it didn't, Brenda. I, I mean, I, it's nothing. It's no, nothing. I know that look. I know that look. It's the same look we had when we were kids, and we had those two identical ducks, and you came in and told me that my duck died. You remember? It's the same look. Wait a minute. If they were identical, how did you know it was my duck that died? Rhoda, it was your duck, wasn't it? You took my duck. My divorce is final. You switched ducks on me. Boy, what a rotten thing to do. Brenda, I'm telling you that this letter says I am finally divorced. You owe me a duck. <laughs> Get you a duck. Thank you. Oh, my God. Rhoda, your divorce is final? Mm, yeah, here's the paper. Oh. <laughs> Love, you could look at me. I mean, I'm fine. I, I, I knew, you know, already that the divorce was final. It's just that seeing it in black and white. Oh, you know? Ro, if you want to cry, it's okay. Go ahead. I don't feel like crying. <laughs> what do you feel? I feel... I feel like uh, hitting. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> okay, Ro. <clears throat> Go ahead. Take your bed. <laughs> No, I see. I, not hitting a person. You, I mean, uh, you know, things. Yeah? yeah. I think that's a good idea, Rhoda. No, Brenda. I really. It's. 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 I feel silly. No, I think really? it would be good for you. Do I really you, do. You yeah, do. Yeah. Here. Go ahead. Demolish this. <laughs> Rhoda, move. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Hit it hard, Ro. Really hit it hard. Come on. Harder. Harder. Make a fist and really punch it. Yeah. Fist. Hit it, Rhoda. Come on. Get it out! Get mad at that pillow! Really? Get it out! Get it out!
mangled by beads. <laughs> oh. Brenda. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So terrific. I feel yes. so like a weight has been lifted off me. Great. this moment for a year. It was nothing like this. Oh, Ma. God, what a surprise. Oh, yeah. I am so happy to oh, see you. Oh, me too. Oh, what? What's wrong? There's a bone sticking out of your back. <laughs> Ma, okay, I dropped a few pounds. Go ahead, say it. No, I'm no, too thin. No, Ma. you look great. For somebody who hasn't had a decent meal in a year. <laughs> She yeah. is back. There she is. <laughs> Ma. Ma, what are you doing here? I thought you and Pop weren't coming on until next week. Oh, yeah, well, I flew in ahead there out the apartment. <laughs> oh, oh Ma, it's so good okay. to see you. I missed yeah, you so me much. Too. Yeah, we have. Uh, 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 we have missed yeah. you so. I have missed you. <laughs> and I hope you noticed. I've been here five minutes, and not once have I asked you why your apartment is this way. <laughs> look, please, let's discuss. All right, later, we'll talk. Right. <laughs> stand up. Let me look at what? you. Oh, no, come on, stand up, stand up. Uh, Just let me look at you. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let us look at you. Yeah. Stand up. <laughs> I am standing. <laughs> Step over here. Look at you. All right, here uh, we go. Brenda? Yeah. Let me look at Rhoda. <laughs> okay, Rhoda, let me look at Brenda. Uh, Ma, let's look at you. Yeah. You look terrific and very tan. Yeah, well, your father and I found a secluded ravine near the uh, Grand Canyon, and well, we just got up on top of the camper and sunbathed in the nude. You're kidding. What? Well, not totally nude. Your father had his socks on. Socks? <laughs> yeah, well, he had to have some place to put the traveler's checks. <laughs> the best part is coming home and seeing how desperately you need me. Oh, now, wait a second. No, Ma, I'm going to clean up the, uh, the apartment later. Well, right, yeah, Ben will sure. help me, but you, you are merely a guest here. Okay, I know, I know. Listen, it's been a rough trip. Would you mind if I cleaned up? Sure, right through there. No, I think I'll just start here. <laughs> Gary, can I get you anything more to eat? No, no thanks, I'm stuffed. <laughs> ah, I have a spot on my skirt. Why don't you go upstairs and put another one on? <laughs> Ma, we told you Gary isn't gay. He just sat on his hot comb. <laughs> to each his own. <laughs> Ma, you are incredible. I know. <laughs> Rhoda, Brenda has told me all about her life now. You. All right. But remember, no passing judgment. Me? Right? Never. Okay. Well, Ma, the thing is, um, my divorce is final. Well, now, you see, it wasn't so hard. What do you mean the divorce is final? <laughs> Look what I said, it's final. The papers came in the mail today. Papers? Yes, divorce papers, Ma. I never saw a divorce. What do you mean, divorce Well, papers? I will show I them to you. All right, come and look. I'd like to see I have them in my desk. I want to see a divorce Ma, is getting right. 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 Are you right there? Here they are, from the lawyer. That's it. The papers. Yeah, so it's just a paper. I mean, it doesn't mean anything. Ma, it means I am divorced. Not anymore, it doesn't. Why did you do that? That is ludicrous. Tearing up those papers doesn't change a thing. What do you think? I'm not divorced anymore? My marriage is just ripped? <laughs> you had to go and do this all by yourself, right? You couldn't wait for me. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I really forgot what it was like to have you around. One solid year, I didn't have someone 
standing beside me, behind me, whispering in my ear, Rhoda, you've screwed it up again. I hate it when you talk like that. Of course you do. You hate everything I do. You always have. All my life long, Ma, that's all you ever did. Criticize me. You have never been proud of me. That's not true. I was proud of you lots of times. You ever name one? Well, like when you were in the third grade. You won the science fair with the model of the human brain. Third grade. That's how far you have to go back? That's how far she has to go back. Rhoda, why don't you just calm down? Huh? Thank you, Brenda. Yeah. Yes. Ma, I am a grown woman. You cannot um, pick at me anymore. Pick? When did I ever pick? When? Always. Always. Rhoda, you're too fat. Now it's Rhoda, you're too thin. What do you want with art school? Go find a man. Ma, what did you want me to do? Go out in the streets and hail a CPA? <laughs> I tell you, Ma, I could never please you, try as I might. I never will, I guess. Well, I'm through. Banging my head against a wall to make you happy. Uh, listen, maybe I should go. No, stay, Gary. Sit down. <laughs> So? Poor little you. Always the hurt one, right? What about me? What about all the fun you used to make of me? Fun? When did I ever make fun of you? You made fun of me all the time. Fun. My cooking, you made fun of my cleaning, my height. I'm up to here with cracks of my life. <laughs> you always shut me out, Rhoda. <laughs> all I wanted to do was be your friend. Oh, Ma, Ma, you're my mother. Couldn't I be both? <laughs> Jane Wyatt was both. <laughs> Jane Wyatt? Yeah, and father knows best. You always liked her. <laughs> Jane Wyatt could have gone to your mother-daughter tea, but you wouldn't let me go with you. Only because you wanted us to dress alike. <laughs> Is that so bad? In cowgirl suits? <laughs> Boy, all I ever wanted was for you to like me. Uh, Ma, you're my mother. I, I love you. Yeah, but you don't like me. No, it's you. You don't like me. Okay, I don't like you, you don't like me. That's about it. Pardon me. <laughs> Ma, you gotta come out of the bathroom sometime. Ma, come on, I have to get in there. I have a date coming in a couple of minutes. A date? <laughs> ah, crud. <laughs> All right, don't tell me who it is. Don't tell me anything. What have I ever done for you? Is this gonna be the breach birth story again? <laughs> no, that's in the past. I have to look to the present. I have to face facts. A year ago, I had two beautiful daughters. This year, I have one beautiful daughter. Oh, that's not true. I think you're beautiful. <laughs> I could help Rhoda put the pieces of her life together, but she won't let me. She doesn't like me. Oh, Ma, that's really silly. Rhoda loves you. I love you. Yeah, but do you like me? Of course I do. Tell me five things you like about me. <laughs> well, uh, I like your dress. Oh, come on, I mean real things. <sighs> well, uh... Your strength, Ma. Yeah, I always liked your strength. When things were rough, you always held us together. You never cracked. I just cracked privately, like in your bathroom. I promised myself I would never let you girls see me cry. Oh, Ma. Ma, look, we're being honest here, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Name five things you like about me. Oh, that's easy. There's your sweetness. That's one. And you still have your innocence, right? <laughs> okay, one's enough. <laughs> you can't stay mad at each other forever. Go up there, talk it out with her. Oh, sure. You want me out of the way when your date gets here, right? Well, yeah, but... Uh, okay, you... I'll go. I don't mind being out of the way. I'll just go up to Rhoda's and get my coat. Listen, can I borrow your pocketbook? Gee, I'm gonna need that when I go out. Oh. oh. Well, I tell you what. When your date gets here, bring him up, introduce me, and if I like him, I'll uh, give it back to you. Gary, <laughs> ever knew 
notice you always yell and scream at the people you love the most? Nah. If that were true yesterday, I would have married a cab driver. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. Mrs. Morgenstern, hello. Hello, dear. How are you? Hi, Ma. Do you uh, want to talk? Do you uh, want to apologize? I have nothing to apologize for. Oh. Well, in that case, then I am merely here to get my coat. Uh, do you know where my coat is? No. You didn't uh, maybe once try it on and then... <laughs> Your coat is in the bedroom. I will get it. Oh, I'll get it. No, no, I got it. Ma. I can get it. I know where the bedroom ah. is. I... Ma, trust me to get a coat, please. I won't lose it on the way back here. I'll get that. Fine. I love your hair. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Would you tell the lady of the house that Mr. Magnetism is here? Mama! Who was at the door? It's a man in a very small white Cadillac. <laughs> hey, heartbreak. Johnny Bench is back in town and you got him. Perfect. Uh, what are you doing here, Johnny? Well, I had to see that sexy smile of yours and kiss those sexy lips and touch that... Uh, Johnny, I'd like you to meet my mother. <laughs> Ida Morgan Stern, Johnny Venture. Oh, hey, little mama. <laughs> Johnny, it's good to see you again. We've met? I think I would remember you. This is a friend of yours? <laughs> Ma, don't say anything. All right? All right, I won't say a word. <clears throat> uh, Johnny, could I get you a cup of tea? Or a cup of sequins? <laughs> Ma, uh, uh, why don't you sit down, Thank dear? Thank you. Huh? You are dating him? <laughs> Oh, listen, I just, somebody, we were fixed up once, and he, he's been after me ever since, but I am not at all. Why am I explaining? If I want to see Johnny, if I want to date Johnny, I will do so. Corona, you are divorced. You're vulnerable. You're bait for every creep in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Morgenstern, I don't think you realize something. Johnny Venture is one of the greats of show business, and he has the hots for your daughter. <laughs> Sit down. It, it hurts when I sit. Go sit Go, down. Sit down. <laughs> you look at what you're doing to your life. It is my life, Ma. It is my... I'll get that. No, I will get it. No, I can get Allow it. me to answer my own door, please. Hi. Oh, I just oh, promised my no, mother's it's... favorite daughter. Oh, oh, such a good girl. Never gives me a moment's grief. Hello, I'm Brenda's mother. Hi, Benny Goodwin. Oh, I love your father's music. <laughs> and the angels sing. They do? <laughs> hey, the kid sister, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh, hi. Right. Fine, Johnny. What do you got Johnny Venture and Ma in the same room? <laughs> yes, and waiting in the wings, we have Idi Amin. <laughs> so, Benny, uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I work in a toll booth. A toll booth? But you're just doing that until you become a... a... Professional roller skater. <laughs> you're looking better to me every minute. <laughs> Ma. Ma, Benny's a very nice guy. Oh, listen, you don't have to explain to me. You have your friends. Rhoda has hers. I'm not going to tell the two of you what you're doing wrong with your lives. But if you want to know... I'll be waiting at the apartment with a very long list. <laughs> Who is it? Ma, it's me. Open up, I don't have a key. that even if we fight this is still your home you don't knock in your own home look um, ma uh, can I help you here 
Yeah? Yes? Good. What are you doing? I am helping. I'm just taking the plastic off the furniture. No, no. The sheets go off. The plastic stays on. <laughs> Oh, and go ahead, make a remark about plastic on the chairs. I'm not going to make a remark. No jokes. I came here to talk to you. Yeah. So please, huh? <sighs> okay. Oh, Ma, you know I love you, don't you? Yeah, I know that. But do you like you? Very much. Honest. I like you. I'm very proud of you, Rhoda. Are you? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, yeah. Tell me, Ma, why are you proud of me? I'm proud of you, Rhoda, because no matter how old you get, you still have the good sense to come crawling home to your mother for advice. <laughs> right. All right, let me have it. Uh, what is the advice? <sighs> Rhoda, I have lived longer than you. I have experienced everything life has to offer. Mm -hmm. And from all of these things, I've gotten something together. A philosophy. An answer to everything. What is it? Rhoda, don't throw your life away on garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's fine. Uh, very wonderful. Uh, one great advice. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. No, no, you don't understand. What? I'm terrified for you. Oh, come on, terrified. Concerned, worried, No, maybe, no, but... no, no. Terrified. Why? Listen, I was driving around this country this year, right? Mm-hmm. I saw a lot of single women driving. Single. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure, less than two. <laughs> well, they were making the wrong turn, they were getting lost, and I don't want to think of you that way. I mean, sitting in a ditch on a dark, dirty road somewhere, waiting for the auto club. Listen, I, I think I understand what you're saying. I really do. And boy, do I appreciate it. And I know nothing I will ever say to you will stop you from worrying about me, because you see that as your mission in life, a job as a mother, to worry about her daughter. That's OK. But you know what I'd really like? I would love for us not to fight anymore. You want to take all the enjoyment out of life? <laughs> <laughs>